hello everyone hope you all are doing well so today we are going to do topic 74 c of paper 2 topic 74 c that is the remaining part of the pesticides for their formulation and mode of actions so we have discussed it in brief we have discussed it in a and b topic a and b and now the remaining parts we are discussing here in c so the first topic we are going to discuss today is pesticide residues pesticide residues when crop is treated with pesticide when crop is treated with pesticide a small a very small amount of pesticides or it metabolites a small amount of pesticides or its metabolites or degradation products can remain in the crop or degradation product can remain in remain in crop after after it is harvested also so this small amount of metabolites pesticides or its degradation product can remain in crop and this is what residue is pesticidal residue now how this residue arise So this residue can arise from first one overuse of pesticides, or use too close to harvest of illegally permitted pesticides. Suppose we are going to harvest the crop in some days and we are using pesticides today. So there are chances of the remaining of the residues in the harvested crop. So when there is first one is overuse, second one is illegal use of pesticide that is not approved. Illegal use of pesticide that is not approved for that crop. Thirdly, incorrect use of pesticide after harvest incorrect use of pesticide after harvest to reduce paste in pesticide in storage what happens sometimes we harvest the crop and then use pesticide on that so that the paste infestation does not uh, affect the crop in the storage and in doing transportation so it is incorrect use so this is how residues can arise incorrect use overuse illegal use now uh, where these residues can be present These residues can be present in fresh or tinned fruits and vegetables. Fresh fruits and vegetables. It can be present in processed food and drink. Food and drink made from that crop. It can be present in animal products, fresh or processed animal products both in fresh animal products which feed on those crops okay residues may also result from environmental and other indirect sources there are environmental sources of residues also such as uh, residues of old pesticides ddt these can survive in environment for long time so these are the areas where residues can be present and from where we can intake the residues now what are its health defects It has many health defects also. Such as birth defects, neurological effects, cancer, fertility issues this all can be due to pesticide residues now moving on to the next topic of this session that is insecticidal poisoning insecticidal 
poisoning poisoning caused by insecticides after being swallowed this is the poisoning caused by insecticide after being swallowed inhaled or absorbed through the skin suppose there was insecticide in a field and you use we eat the fruits of that field that is through that through inhaling of the insecticide through absorb or absorption of insecticide through skin and this is mainly seen in uh, pesticides of family organo phosphate poisoning is very common carbamates poisoning etc so what are the symptoms of these poisonings symptoms are eye tearing coughing heart problems breathing problems breathing difficulties breathing difficulties vomiting frequent bowel movement and urination frequent bowel movement loose motions can be there diarrhea can be there frequent urination can be there these are the common symptoms more severe symptoms rarely develop now but what are its treatment we should know it how will you treat this insecticide how can we treat this insecticide nail poison it was asked in previous year so we should know it some common treatments removal of contaminated clothing and washing of skin removal of contaminated clothing uh contaminated clothing washing of skin treatment to support breathing and heart function many treatment to support breathing if there are breathing difficulties breathing and heart functions sorry we can use atropine this should be given in vein iv iv of atropine to treat uh, this use of medications so a medical diagnosis is important use of medicines we should reach to the doctor very either if the severe symptoms get severe we should reach the doctor to the hospital so this is how we can treat the insecticidal poisoning so that is all for today so we have almost completed 90% of the paper 2 and the remaining parts are remaining which we think i think we will complete in 10 15 days and we will complete the whole of agriculture syllabus for any queries do comment if you like it please press the like button do share and subscribe keep making notes that's all for today have a nice day thank you